Today we are going to repair a Sony TV which is completely dead. So no image, no lights on the front and no response if any button on the TV or on the remote is pressed. With this device the power supply is attached externally and can be checked by measuring the voltage and to ensure the TV gets power, which was in this case okay. In most cases the main volt fails and doesn't respond to anything. I already checked all voltages of the back converters, so it seems to be that the eMMC aka Embedded Multimedia Card Storage IC failed. It typically lasts for around 4-5 to five years, maybe 6 or longer, sometimes even shorter, and in some cases eventually within the warranty time. This TV is 4 years old, so it should be the right path to go. It seems to be that by startup the TV, it loads its operating system out of this IC. If it can't find it, because it's degraded, it can't start. Another common failure is the so-called boot loop, at this point the TV shows a loading picture, or just the brand name for short, but it will never load its OS. Then you have to exchange the memory chip or search for a service to get your motherboard repaired. To verify that the IC is failed, you can check the voltages around the IC, which you can see for this board over here. If they are present, you can be pretty much sure that a faulty memory chip is on your board. If not, maybe a problem is somewhere else. You can get pre-programmed flash IDs from services which flash them with a specific dump and won't cost that much. A link is in the description down below. So it's time to get started. I firstly preheat the whole section of the board to reduce the thermal stress. The temperatures should be around 100 degrees Celsius. A hot plate or an oven with a perfect temperature accuracy is much better. But I only got my hot air station which works fine too. Now I'm setting the temperature to the hot air station to 350 degrees with a very moderate air speed, since we don't want to blow away any loose SMD components. Be very gentle when lifting the IC, you can very easily rip off any solder pads underneath. Now it's time to remove the old solder. To make life easier and not to rip off any contacts, I'm using this solder flux. Please use a lot of solder flux, much more than I do here. To remove the solder I use some solder wick, but please use a thicker solder tip. Mine is not the best size for this job in this case. After removing the flux residues by some cotton tips and isopropyl alcohol, you can see that we lost three solder pads. <coughs> Luckily, these pins do nothing, and no copper traces contact them. The next thing we wanna do is apply new flux, but this time not that much than before, just a tiny bit. This will help us when soldering the new chip. It's also helpful to spread this a little bit. So a tiny layer of flux is everywhere present. Just take your time. Because we can't see the ball grid array when it's ordering, we have to be sure that it's perfectly placed. I don't have any microscopes, so we will see if this works. Just don't stress and take your time. I 
and now again preheating the board just as previously, so it's less press for everything. And the solder process is done much easier. Now I'm setting the temperature to 320 degrees at very low airspeed. We don't want to push the IC to a certain direction, just by the airflow. Don't overheat the IC by just staying on top of a certain corner. But also don't rush over it as I'm doing it here, because then not every joint will connect. You will see what I mean. After you're done, it's time to let it cool off by just waiting. Don't move the board. If it's cold, flush the soldering area using isopropyl alcohol, for example, and use a lot of alcohol because you don't want to let any flux residue on the board. And now it's time to reassemble the TV and give it a try. Well, that doesn't look promising, so let's try resoldering the chip again by applying less heat for a longer time. A few moments later. Okay, the board is again reassembled and. Nice! I hope you liked this video and learned something new. If so, please give this a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment down below. Hope we will see you very, very soon. Goodbye for now.